thank you for joining me. I'm Tracy and I love to upcycle, mainly clothes, purses, jewelry, things like that. I sold for many, many years and I've retired from selling and now I just do tutorials. And so I have gotten some requests to see my sewing room, art studio, whatever you want to call it. I've been a little reluctant to do this because I don't have all the fancy sewing machines. I have one. I don't have all the cubicles full of perfectly folded fabrics and pegboards full of perfectly organized thread, but I thought it would be fun to show you around just so that you get to know me a little bit better. So first I'm just going to give you a quick span and then I'll just kind of dissect my little spaces a little bit. I'm in a walkout basement. I pretty much have the whole thing because it's just the two of us here and I have lots of space down here, but um, I'll show you around. Okay, so this is where I just came down from. Those are the stairs that lead to my upstairs. And I'm not on a tripod, so my hands are a little shaky. I almost always try to be on a tripod because of that. But so... I'll just give you a quick to look around. It's a pretty big walkout. All right. So I'll dissect this back at the beginning here. I'll dissect this a little bit and talk about a few things. Okay. So this is the main table I work at when I do tutorials and you see me doing things. It's this huge table that I got at an auction for 10 bucks. And I just kind of did a farmhouse sort of whitewash, white painting on it. And it was a really ugly brown. Now underneath, let me see if you can see. Yeah, see those little black things underneath the legs? So my back would always hurt because I stand when I do majority of my sewing and working at the table. And I would have to bend down and my back would really hurt by the end of the day. So my fiance found these just black risers to put underneath the table leg. And now I don't have to bend over to do anything. And it has saved my back. So I really love this table, the size. It has three leaves in it to make it really big. I'll put a link to those little black risers. I'll have to get it from my fiance. And uh, in case you're interested, in case you have the same issue with your back hurting when you're working at your table. Now this area is pretty much just my backdrop to my videos. And when I sold on eBay and Etsy, it was the backdrop to my photographs for my pictures. And there is no window back here. This is just props it's just a wall and I made these curtains now all these doilies and things are glued on because I knew it was just going to be a prop I wasn't going to sell it I wasn't going to wash it it was just going to hang it so I glued all that on and then a bunch of lace fringe and jewelry and flowers at the bottom I did sew the fringe on but I glued the flowers and the jewelry um, those curtains are just from Walmart and they were super inexpensive. They're like a taupey color and they of course didn't come down to the ground. So then I just added all the lace, you know, and some backlighting, things like that. And I also have as with, I have the box lights, but I also have this shop light. I come down here and I just flip lamps and lights on like crazy. I haven't even looked at the electric bill because he takes care of that, but it's probably pretty high. <laughs> okay, so I have the camera pointing up to the ceiling because I want to show you something really cool. Okay, watch. Watch this light right here. Echo, start recording. Okay. Turns red. Can you see that? Echo, stop recording. Okay. So I have one down here and I have one at the top of the stairs and my fiance is an IT guy and he's really techy and he used to wake up in the morning. I always got up first and so he'd wake up in the morning and holler down, 
good morning, babe. And I might be in the middle of explaining something and, and I don't want to say good morning back, but if I don't, he says it again. And so he put this in, he surprised me one night and I woke up in the morning to this system. I just tell EH, ECHO to start recording. And then he sees a red light up at the top of the stairs and knows not to say good morning until it's off. So cool. Okay, so over in this corner, I have a rack of white clothes. And in my main area, I keep clothes that are yet to be worked on and upcycled. I keep my finished items in a room with the door shut because I don't want my cats kind of rubbing up against them and getting hair on them. And I have white because this wall in a lot of my videos gets seen. So I just thought it'd be pretty to put all my whites there. Then I just have a rack for hats. And then I have this dresser. And I'll show you what's in there. Okay, so this dresser I got at an auction a long time ago. I used to go to auctions all the time when I had my booth spaces. And I painted this. It was just an ugly brown when I first got it. It's missing a piece of hardware because I actually put that on a purse once upon a time. But I keep a lot of things in here. I keep like vintage brooches, things like that, patterns. And in here I have buttons. And I actually have a trunk of buttons as well. You know, some jewelry making pieces, charms, more jewelry remnants. And then way down at the bottom, this drawer doesn't open, but this one, ugh, I just keep my yarn in. Okay, so that's that and we'll move over. Now over here, I just have a rack where I keep purses that I've made. I have a little desk that I painted. I used to paint furniture and sell it in my booth spaces. Um, so a lot of this is painted furniture that I've had. And this little desk, I just keep, this is where I charge my electric scissors. I have some jewelry making, hole punch, just some things like that. And I have two big box lights, which I love because I mainly just do filming down here, you know, sewing tutorials, and they are a godsend on gloomy days like today where the sun's not shining. And if you're interested, I'll put a link to that in my description. So over on this wall, I just have a bulletin board and I have two more and I'll show you. They're awesome for storing things. And this bulletin board, I keep kind of special patterns that I don't want to get mixed up in a drawer or lose or special appliques or a beautiful piece of fabric that I know I'll use and don't want it to get lost in my tub of scraps. So, and then right next to it is my sewing machine. So my sewing machine is just over here by a window. That was important to me because I sit here so much and I feed the squirrels and they come and play and so, it's kind of fun just to sit at the window and kind of watch the wildlife. It's all wooded behind our house. And this table, another auction find that I painted. And um, I'm going to give you a close-up of what I painted on here. I've had this table almost since I started sewing. And I knew that as well as being in front of a window for to lift my spirits or keep my spirits high, I also wanted an inspirational quote. And I'll show you what I painted on there. Okay, so what it says is, the days come and go, but they say nothing. And if we do not use the gifts they bring, they carry them silently away. And of course, I gave credit to the poet, Ralph Waldo Emerson. And then next to my sewing table, this is where I keep most of my sewing supplies. This is just an old hand-me-down. You know, I'm the queen of just making do with what I have. And in here, the top drawer, I just have lots of hang tags left from when I used to sell. I would put one of these on all of my items. And then in this drawer, 
just some ribbons and things like that. I also have two big baskets of ribbons in my storage room, so I don't even, I should make better use of that drawer. Now in here is just all my thread, kind of tossed in there. I keep my bob. <laughs> How untidy is that, right? Thread everywhere. But it works for me, you know? I would know where everything is. And then just extra needles and elastic, zippers, things like that. And I have this old tin that I got that it was given to me, actually. Um, this was some old sewing notions. It's, I don't really use those, but that's just too cool and vintagey to get rid of. So I keep it down here. Okay. Now down this way, I keep my ironing board. Again, it's in front of the sliding glass doors because I like to look outside. Whenever I have to spend time doing something, I really enjoy being able to see outside, especially when you're down in a basement. I get feeling a little secluded down here sometimes if I don't have nice windows to look out. And then down this way, I have, I call it my packing station and I'll show it to you when I used to sell. I had another table that I got from an auction that I would just do all my packing. That way I didn't have to clear off my workspace if I had to pack something and I was packing things almost every morning. So I'll show you that. So this is the table that I would pack my items and I, I have a shelf nearby that I would keep packing supplies like priority boxes and flowers because I would decorate my packages with flowers and then hot glue gun. I would hot glue the flowers on tissue paper, packing paper, little gifts. I would keep on this shelf like purses I would give away a free bracelet with you know I have some candy some thank you cards ribbon to put the thank you card just everything I needed to pack things up so I could just come to this corner and have it all at my fingertips when I packaged my items okay so I have two more racks here and these again are clothes that I need to upcycle or use as parts for upcycling. These racks, I'll see if I can find the link if you're interested, because it's really hard to find sturdy industrial racks at a decent price. And I think I have five and I use them all the time. So I'll try to try to put a link in my description. I'll have to Again, my fiance ordered these for me and I'll have to see where, if he got them on Amazon or where he got them, so. Okay, so this shelf is such a hodgepodge. I really need to organize a lot of my stuff. You would think I would do that before I would do a video on my sewing room, but you know, this is just real, it's just me. And I have everything from jewelry and beads and boots and garbage bags so maybe I'll revamp this wall one day and do a before and after for you and do better on that and then I have one more table here this is just a clear glass table it was patio furniture at one time that we had and it's just kind of my catch-all I like keeping my work table free of clutter. And so I pile all my clutter on here and that way my big work table is just free and clear of any clutter. Okay, so here's one of the bulletin boards I was talking about. I take just my straight pins that I sew with and I pin hats on there. You know, I wouldn't do it if I had like a super expensive leather hat or something, but um that's where I store a lot of my hats. And over here, I just have another bulletin board that I store my, just hang my necklaces and things. And then I have this little thing that I thrifted that is great for my earrings. I got another little thrifted kind of jewelry tree thing for bracelets. And I actually have another little hanging wall thing here for necklaces. 
Okay, so now I'm way down at the other end of the basement and there's a bedroom that I have. I keep this door shut because of we have two kitties, Tigger and Lily, and they are so sweet, but they really like to rub up against things and I don't want hair all over them. And so I store a lot of my finished items and a lot more stuff. I'll take you in there. Okay, you can probably only see the racks right now, but I do have two walls and the closet lined with shelves, but I have a rack right in the center of my sewing area or in the storage room, which is actually a bedroom. And I keep all my finished items, my denim, things like that. And then back here, I keep mainly my dresses and dusters and miscellaneous stuff there, big blanket coats and things like that. I'll show you my shelves. But I gotta tell you, my shelves are nothing fancy because when I quit selling, I purged this room. It was so packed full of just all these little tiny remnants and scraps. And I was starting to forget and lose what I had. And when I quit selling, I thought I was done until I started doing tutorials. And then I can kind of kick myself for getting rid of a lot of that stuff. But it's kind of nice to have a fresh start. So I have to thrift a lot more than I really needed to had I not gotten rid of everything. Okay, so here I have a table. It's kind of a must for me to have a table in here because I am pulling things off shelves and looking at them and, you know, trying to combine fabrics to go together. And it's just nice to have a little workspace in here. And then um, I just have these kind of plastic heavy duty shelves that I keep my remnants on, you know, I have like my baskets of lace and things like that on these, denim, everything. <laughs> and so the shelves on the opposite wall, I have a lot of like fringes and trims, ribbons. This is all ribbons, more ribbons. I have beads and jewelry and fabrics and a couple wedding dresses and boxes. Um, before I purged this storage room, these, see how I have this belt hanging here? These were all loaded with just crazy fun belts. That's when I was really into making and selling purses because I used a lot of belts on purses. Just one last little thing. I This is my big work table and I like to keep it clear, but these are things I always have on here. I have like a bowl of all my scissors and my wire cutters and my needle nose pliers, a container of pins, a container of a real fancy, right? <laughs> Markers and pencils, things like that. Yardstick, a notepad, lint roller, and this. Oh my gosh, don't think I mean, but sometimes my cats start coming around me when I'm trying to do a video and they're meowing. So I do a little spray just to, it doesn't scare them terribly, but it kind of shoes them away. So that's why that's there. Okay. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching.